Good comes to those who suffer properly, walking toward death's campfire as one who understands. Life turns you, learns you inside out, penetrates all doubt with its demands. Reaching out with bandaged hands, I am not sorry, not sorry to accept this trail to redemption. A former artist of excuses, I now untie these perfect nooses so that I may be one who chooses the eternity of now. Now is the invitation and the closure. Now I surrender my composure to the shock waves of stars colliding as nature conducts her orchestra of multi-layered battlegrounds exploding without sound. I am alive. I stand looking all around. I see them all still bound, impotent, hiding. They have plenty of company there. But to dare is to live. To dare is to be resented, envied, hated by the convention of slow suicide. With all its willing participants, aiming their phones at the next QR code, deep in their programmed mode, waiting alongside the road. For their appointed driverless taxi, contactless, safe from your fellow human soul, sheltered by the synthetic call of anti-nature with a robot blow-up doll, you make love without danger. Mm. Tomorrow you'll have a nice Brady Bunch style Zoom chat, bonding with friends who know where it's at. The lines on their faces appear to be looser since they've all gotten their 19th booster. One says hi to Susie, and other says hi to Dick, and somehow they all look kind of sick. But thank God they haven't been tricked by misinformation. I feel the need for a long vacation, but I'll settle for two days off. The lure of stagnation bubbles like a latte froth, but that temptation has long since worn off. I stretch and I cough and light my American spirit with a black cup of coffee, mixed the hard with a little soft. Time to get on with it.